Now, the other day I had a iced brown sugar espresso and yeah, from Starbucks. Yep. You got that. Um, now the other day I had a iced and iced brown sugar espresso from Starbucks, of course. And, um, yeah, that's what we're making today. It's really easy to make and we're going to use espresso like coffee. I really like that term because I don't have a machine. I don't think I need the machine. Anyways, we're going to use a French press to make this coffee, this espresso. Now in my research for this recipe to kind of get insights, get ideas on how to get this right. I found the official recipe from Starbucks and it's just hilarious that recipe because the pictures, if it's intended to signify what's in the instructions completely mismatch what's being instructed. So you can see that they say to put the coffee, milk and the, the, the sweetener in the shaker and then mix it all together. And then you pour it into your glass with ice. But then you look at the picture and you see that you have black coffee with the clouds of milk, which you can only get if you pour in the milk after shaking the espresso with your syrup. So what is up here? I don't get it. How did you do it? Let's take a look at how to make the brown sugar syrup first. You're going to need some brown sugar. Yeah. Surprising. I know some vanilla and some water. We're basically making a syrup, um, equal parts, sugar and water. You let that just kind of warm up as you stir from time to time. And then you add the vanilla. Once sugar has dissolved, just let that simmer lightly for about three to four minutes and then take that off the heat. So now that you have the brown sugar syrup with you, what you need is your favorite type of coffee, a French press if you're making espresso like coffee, or if you choose, you can make an actual espresso, or if you choose, you can get your favorite espresso and you're gonna need one of these shaker bar things. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, that's the official term for this thing. And uh, you wanna add ice, your espresso or espresso like coffee in there, and then give it a really good shake. The observations and some recommendations that I've seen is to do it laterally. So like this, in this manner, then just pour this all into your serving glasses with some ice cubes that have already been placed in those glasses and then top it off with milk and just let the milk do its thing and really paint the drink. It just looks beautiful. You can top it off with some Ceylon cinnamon and enjoy. It's easy. You should probably go out in the summer and get the drink from your favorite coffee place if you can find it. But if you want it to be a lazy pad, you kind of day and you don't want to get out of the house, make it at home. You can have this whatever you want. And the best thing, even if they discontinue it, you can keep continuing to enjoy it. So if you want another Starbucks cold coffee recipe for summer, you're going to love my chocolate cream cold brew recipe. Check it out.